sang my first show tune when I was just three. My mother knew why go far. I've been a show queen since way before Glee. Now I'm a Broadway star. Well, not exactly, but my friend has a friend who knows Adina Menzel. Well, you know, I mean, sort of. So things are happening, you'll see. But till my ship comes in, I've got a lot to tell you. Let's start chewing the scenery with you. Welcome to chewing the scenery with me. Turn off your cell phones. And now, Randy Rainbow Lip Sync's Patty Lupone's Autobiography. Frank Rich gave Anything Goes a rave review in the Times and wrote me a love letter. The show was a hit, and I was a hit in it. This was a stunning and uproariously funny musical. We played to giddy audiences for months. That show was so infectious, you couldn't help but feel good. I received my third Tony nomination, my second nod for Best Actress in a Musical. In fact, the production received ten nominations for the 1988 season. In all of the newspapers across the country from New York to L.A., I was predicted to win. Predicted to win hands down. I thought I was good in the part, but this was a huge validation of my performance. I tried to keep it all in perspective, but as I said, we were a hit, and now with ten Tony nominations, we became a gigantic hit. We were also the underdog. That season saw the original productions of Phantom of the Opera and Into the Woods. All three musicals received multiple nominations. The Tony Awards night arrived, and I was dressed to the nines on my way to my big night. It had been eight years between nominations, eight years since my win for Evita. The company and I had to perform the musical number Anything Goes Live. My microphone was still on as I turned up stage at one point during the song. The audience heard me wail, Oh my God! The nerves were so intense. It was now time for my category to be announced. I waited patiently as the nominees were read. And the 1988 Tony Award goes to... Joanna Gleason for Into the Woods. I sat there and watched Joanna pick up her award. During her acceptance speech, I felt like I was having a flashback on an acid trip. She looked like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. What happened? I was supposed to win. It was a bad night for me. I returned to the show, thrilled as we all were, for Bill McCutcheon's win for Best Featured Actor in a Musical, Michael Smuin for Choreography, and our Tony win for Best Revival. Unfortunately, the longer our show ran, the more eager I was to leave. In a long run, things backstage can go rancid faster than you can sneeze, and it did with Anything Goes, because of just a few discontents. Despite having a great director, Jerry Zaks, and a wonderful cast of veteran actors, ultimately, Anything Goes ended up not being a happy show. The problem in this one originated with the dancers and to a lesser extent with the chorus, both of which were filled with first-timers. And they conducted themselves that way. This inexperienced minority had no knowledge of proper backstage behavior. For instance, and this is a big for instance, Everybody had a dressing room with a bathroom in it on stage level. For all they knew, it was like this in every theater and always had been. They approached their roles in the show with a tremendous sense of entitlement and little sense of responsibility. I would have traded my private bathroom for a company of professionals who understood how to conduct themselves on stage and off. Okay, I wouldn't have traded my bathroom, but I would have been really, really tempted. Thank <laughs> you.